All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So Global got a data download about an hour ago. And while we don't have all the assets available on Twitter yet, because I'm pretty sure Proton is currently asleep, we did get the info for the most important thing, which is that the Global First event that we've all been waiting for and that Bandai has been teasing for several weeks now is in fact going to be the Extreme Z Battle and Extreme Z Awakening for the full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Now, personally, I had predicted that we were going to get the uh, AGL Blue Gogeta and Fizz full power Broly Extreme Z Awakenings, which I would have preferred a little bit more, but this is definitely a great option. I'm definitely very excited for it. So uh, yeah, in today's video, we're going to check out exactly what this guy does with his EZA and find out exactly how good he's going to be. Okay, so with that said, let's jump right into it, starting with his pre-Extreme Z Awakening details for comparison purposes. His leader skill right now is full power category key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 150%, or super attack types key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 90%. His super attack causes immense damage, and massively lowers defense, and his passive is attack plus 100%, raises attack and defense by up to 70%, the more HP remaining, the greater the stats boost, and then medium chance to evade enemy super attacks, and counter with tremendous power. Obviously, he always could do some pretty good damage, at least for his time, now he's pretty lackluster, but his main thing was damage. Defensively, he was never that good, and especially for this day and age, he's just a complete uh, defensive liability, right? So with the Extreme Z Awakening, you would hope that they addressed that, and I would say they definitely did. So his new leader skill with the Extreme Z Awakening is full power category key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 170% or super attack types key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 120%. Super attack raises attack and defense for one turn and causes immense damage and massively lowers defense. And then passive is attack and defense plus 159% raises attack and defense by up to 100%. The more HP remaining, the greater the stats boost. E plus 3 plus an additional attack and defense plus 59% when all allies attacking on the same turn are super class. Medium chance to evade enemy super attack and counter with tremendous power, which is the same as before. I don't know why I read it that way, but yeah, medium chance, which is 30% to evade super attacks and counter with tremendous power. And then four C's enemy super attacks when there is another full power category ally attacking the same turn and HP is 59% or below. So uh, as you guys might know, if you've been watching me for a while, I love units that can foresee enemy super attacks. I feel like it's um, arguably the most useful ability in the entire game, right? And the condition for this to activate is actually not too bad. Just one full power category ally on the same rotation and then HP 59% or below, which is pretty decent considering we got units like the AGL Super Vegito, who can also foresee enemy super attacks, but you gotta be below, I believe it's 40% HP, which is much more restrictive, right? So one full power category ally, HP under 59%, and you'll be able to foresee enemy super attacks, which is, once again, extremely, extremely valuable, possibly the most useful skill in the game, right? And then he's getting so much attack and defense, man. I mean, compared to before, he was getting just 100% attack and up to 70% attack and defense based on HP. Now he's getting 159% attack and defense to start, then he's getting up to 100% more attack and defense, then he's getting key plus 3 and attack and defense plus 59% with a full super class um, rotation, right? I mean... This is an amazing Extreme Z Awakening, guys. I'm telling you right now, I haven't seen calculations, I haven't seen um, showcases if they're out there, but I'm gonna tell you right now, 
He's gonna be a monster. I'm ready for his EZ, of course, because he's been rainbowed forever, and I've just never used him for the last, like, two plus years because he is not good for today's meta, but um, I've always loved this unit. I love his animations. Uh, I'm excited, guys, to finally use him again for him to be relevant once again, and trust me, he is going to be super, super relevant because this guy is going to be a monster. Huge attack numbers. Defense will be very, very much um, good enough for most events in the game, I think. He should be getting over 300,000 at least with uh, with a super, maybe even more. Um, I'm just going off of you know guesses at the moment. Really, I'm not really calculating, but he's gonna have a lot of defense just based on the numbers we see right now, and uh, the damage will definitely be there. So, I mean, it's it's almost like GT Heroes, like that team uh, was not good enough because this guy is definitely going to make it better. It's a huge buff to that category, and let's be real, guys, it's already one of the best teams, maybe the best team in the entire game right now, and yeah, it just got even better, and the best part, I mean, as a global player, of course, as a global main, is that he's going to be exclusive to global for a while, I mean, at least a couple of months, you would think, maybe less, because, you know, we have had global firsts um, only be exclusive to global for like a couple of weeks. I think the uh, LRUI Goku was that way, only like two weeks or so or something like that. It was very short, it was very short, but I think this guy will be a global exclusive for a while before it makes its way to JP, which uh, I'm not trying to start like any global versus JP talks or anything like that. That's not important, but it's just great for global mains for global players, you know, to have this for ourselves for a little while, it's just nice. So, um, yeah, <laughs> lots of stuff to be excited about for sure. As a global player, uh, the EX part is starting very soon as well. So we got content from that, the LR Super Saiyan 4 Extreme Z Awakenings, the, uh, you know, Super All-Star Extreme Z Battle Event with like 999 levels to clear. That's coming too. Uh, Raditz is coming if you're, you know, into that, but, you know, it, it's a new unit, so there's there's also that. But anyways, um, <laughs> lots of exciting stuff coming, guys. Full power, Super Saiyan 4 Goku, Extreme Z Awakening. Let me know in the comments down below how you guys feel about it. Uh, like I said, man, I am super stoked. I cannot wait for this to drop, and if I uh, read correctly, it should be dropping really soon, like literally within the next... 12 hours or so, I could be wrong, so don't hold me to that, but very soon, very soon, okay, so, uh, yeah, lots of content coming your way tomorrow when I wake up, right now I gotta go to sleep, I'm tired, I'm about to pass out, if, if I seem a little bit off in this video, that that's why, okay, I had a long day, I was about to go to sleep, and this news dropped, and I had to report on it, I had to let you guys know, you know, I was... I was too excited to, to go to sleep after this, but now I'm tired. Now the info has been, you know, given out to you guys, and uh, I'm gonna head to bed. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, let me know in the comments uh, down below once again, how you guys feel about the Extreme Z Awakening. Are you happy it's him? Would you have preferred someone else like Gogeta, like Broly, or another unit that hasn't received an Extreme Z Awakening yet? And uh, that's all I gotta say, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.